but a leafy is beefy here. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the song War from 1969. Now, uh, first things first, I am not I hate everything. And if my video has the words I hate or um, why I hate or whatever, I'm sorry if that clickbaited you out of I hate everything's uh, videos. His videos are awesome, by the way. If you haven't heard of him, I recommend you check him out. Anyway, um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the song War. And um, I don't know why, but I've been thinking a lot about politics lately. Can't really, put, can't really put my finger on it. Not really sure why, but I've been thinking a lot about them, and they got me thinking about the president, and they got me thinking about presidential duties. And one of the things a commander in chief is in control of in America is basically uh, what actions we take when it comes to war with another country. And of course, that gets you thinking about the popular 1969 song "War." Well, listening to that song, I, I have to say, I don't really agree with the message that song's trying to prevail. I mean, prevail? I don't think that's a good word for that. But, uh, I mean, there's nothing innately wrong with the song. I mean, I'm not really into music myself, but I don't really see anything wrong with the song. If there is something wrong with the song and how it's written or how it's done, go ahead and leave a comment if you uh, care that much. But I'm not trying to say that there's anything wrong with the song innately. I'm just trying to say I think the message is a little poor. Now, I understand it was written for the Vietnamese War, which was essentially a war we didn't have to be part of. It was just blood for nothing. And um, I know there's a lot of wars where that are kind of pointless, where it's just kind of blood for nothing. But uh, in a lot of circumstances, I think war is a good thing, like the American Revolution or the French Revolution, other revolutions like that, where yes they were wars but they had positive outcomes i mean america believed that they were being in charged being charged by a unfair monarch so they decided to do something about it they went to war and then they became free so obviously war isn't always bad i mean i'm not saying that war is good that's not what i'm trying to say here uh, this ar this argument isn't about how i think that we should just go to war with everyone but I th feel like saying that there's nothing good about war, that the only friend of war is the Undertaker, is kind of unfair. I mean, look at World War II. Imagine if Hitler, in this perfect world, Hitler never went to war with Poland, never invaded Poland, World War II never happened. But he still was pretty upset with the Jews, so he was still burning them alive. That that isn't Isn't that a problem? I mean, and imagine if we lived in a world where we couldn't do anything about that. We just let that happen because war is innately bad, so we're not going to let that happen. We're just going to let people be prosecuted and killed for their beliefs. And now, I don't, I don't think that's a world I want to live in. I want to live in a world where the country I love, the country I'm in, is willing to do something about horrible atrocities like that. I don't know about you guys. But I, I feel like that's, you know, that's an important thing for a, a country to be involved with is, you know, making sure, keeping other countries in line when they go a little bit overboard like that. And I'm not saying all wars have a good purpose, obviously. I mean, there's, you know, wars being fought all over the place that are not for, not for a good thing necessarily. And I'm, again, not trying to say all war is good, but I just believe that saying innately that there's nothing good about war, that war has never had a positive outcome is kind of unfair to to the entire idea of fighting for something you believe in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we shouldn't just lay down and roll over if someone's doing something we don't like. We should do something about it. We should try to stop it. And as a country, the only way to do that is through going to war. So, yeah, that's just, that's just my opinion on that. And um, I've just been thinking a lot about stuff like that, you know, about how the world sees things and things like that. So, you know... Um, if you guys like these videos where I kind of just rant about something, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, you know, or uh, just like the video in general. Um, I'm going to try to uh, really be releasing videos more often. Uh, sorry again about the lapse, but like I said, it's kind of hard to kind of hard to get your head in the game when it comes to making videos when you feel like they're not really being appreciated by anyone, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'm going to try to release videos more often. I really appreciate what you guys have done. Uh, this man on the video game appears to have fallen through the floor, and uh... Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and this video fucking blew. So, talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.